I'm going to discuss the solution for this practice problem. We're looking at uh, two different titanium complexes. Uh, one has ammonium coordinated, six of them, and we can come and find ammonium on our ligand field spectrum. It's right here. It's a strong field ligand. Not the strongest, but it's, it's there. Um, and then we can come to our other complex, which has chlorines uh, or chlorides coordinated to it. And that's one of our weak field ligands. So let's look at just the orbital diagram for the D electron. So remember, we're going for a, we're typically used to drawing our 3D electrons for titanium, uh, which is going to have an overall plus three charge which will have one electron in it. And so we're going to now imagine having these ligands come around. And so this is just for the, the titanium plus three. Um, and what happens when they uh, have different ligands associated with it. So let's start with our strong field ligand, our NH3. And so these are gonna split. And since it's an octahedral complex, which we know because we have six of each of our ligands that are gonna arrange around this titanium ion. Uh, we'll have our titanium ion, we'll have uh, it's split into three lower energy and two higher energy. And so these higher energy ones, again, correspond to the dz squared, the dx squared minus y squared. And the other ones are dxy, dxz, and dyz. Um, and so we're only looking at something that has one d electron. And so it'll be the same for either one. But this crystal field splitting right here is going to be larger than something that would be produced by uh, the coordination of a weak field ligand, which we would imagine would be much smaller, maybe something like this, where we would see, um, and we'll put our one electron here, that, that, that difference uh, being a significantly different energy. Um, and so if we had more than one electron in here, that might play a meaningful role in whether or not we have a paramagnetic or diamagnetic compound, if we have unpaired or paired electrons. But even besides that, this is going to have an impact on the actual color of these compounds. And, and these will be different colors because so as energy is absorbed from light, these, these electrons are excited up into other energy levels. And when, when the amount of energy that is absorbed just to increase up that transition that is equivalent to the crystal field splitting, it's, it's going to be um, an, a wavelength of energy that is uh, visible light that's absorbed. And we're gonna, it's going to change the color we perceive. We'll get into that a little bit more next.